Welcome to another COG Sports Cards video. I'm Snake. I'm Rusty Nutzer. And so tonight we wanted to do a little special video. Um, and it's really due to the fact that we could not go to the National Car Show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? So we went digging through our stuff. Yeah. Just... So we were jealous of all the cool videos everyone was making and we couldn't make it to Atlantic City this year. But uh, what we did was we went through our collections and pulled out what? We pulled out 10 of our favorite graded, well, just 10 our of our favorite cards, cards yeah. in our collection. And uh, yeah. we wanted to kind of show those. And then and then uh, also uh, we, we kind of have a small list of cards that we might have uh, coming up next on our collection and cards that we might have gone to look for if we went to the card show yeah and uh that, that i think that's uh stuff that's pretty on, much stuff on our wish list stuff, yeah our, probably our top five cards on our wish list yeah at least that's what i was thinking of it so hope you guys enjoy this uh just something that we uh came up with re real quick and uh, it's national card show weekend so uh, all of you guys out there that got to go uh Hope you had an awesome time. We're watching all the videos. They look awesome. They look great. And we wish we could have been there, but we couldn't. So, looks like everybody's having a blast. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So, you want to start us off? Yeah. Uh, your first favorite card in your... I think mine are kind of in... Uh, sort of in order of year, so... Mine's kind of mixed up. Yeah. I got... So... Let's see, all right. Let's see here. It's stuck on there. All right. My first one out of my collection, one of my favorite cards... Is this Peyton Manning, 96? Nope, 98. 98. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite. I get the year. <laughs> Tops Chrome. Well, I just know that because I was uh, in uh, in school with Peyton. Yeah. He was one of your best buds, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I met him twice, but uh, it was super nice, of course. And But I that card, it's just a really cool looking card. That slab, HGA did a real good job of uh, matching the card. I do like that label. That and, label is cool. Uh, it's a real cool pick of Peyton. Is that your favorite? So that's your favorite Peyton rookie, I guess, yep. probably. I mean, yep. out of the standard stuff. I've got a few of them, different ones. I like that But one. this is my favorite one. Yeah. We pulled that on the show. Yep. Right? So yep. it has some uh, little value to it since we did that. Yep. We're going searching for another one soon. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't remember that, if it's that same thing. Or no, it would be Top's Finest. Oh, okay. Which we didn't get. You want, me, one. You want to go back and yeah, forth? Yeah, you let's want to go, go back and forth. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Because uh, I'm excited to show my first one. There it is. Second year Jordan. Uh, because I don't have a first year Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, what's the sentimental so, value? Yeah, on this that is the sentimental value card for me because, uh, believe it or not, uh, back when I was a kid, Rusty Nuts came home with a couple of packs of '87 Fleer, and I think you maybe even let I, me pick. I had two packs. Yeah. I let him pick uh, which one you want to open. He picked one, and boom. and I pulled this out of it. It's been in my collection since then. And that was that was a long time ago. Long time I was ago. probably I don't know ten or twelve or something. Shoo! That was a long time ago. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So of course uh, we had HGA grade it, and they graded it. I think maybe even they stopped grading those cards. I'm not sure, but I know it's authentic because it's been in my collection since then. And you took, and I love it. You took very good care of it because yeah, it's hard to get a nine on yeah that card. So really cool. Anyway, I love that card. All right. Now my next one. Yeah, that's cool. Is one of my all-time favorite football players, Bill Bates. <laughs> and of course, he went to Tennessee. Yeah, so uh, he's from Knoxville, and uh, then went to University of Tennessee, and then to the Cowboys. All your favorite teams. Yep. My brother was going to school at the same time he he was. I actually got to go down there with my brother, my yep. older brother, and watch him play. Oh, cool. And uh, that that card right there. I mean, I've got quite a few of his cards, but that's just a cool-looking card. Yeah, and it's a new shiny one. Yeah, it's a shiny one. But it's still, uh, that's a cool card. I it's really got like a, it. Yeah, one out of, and, yeah, it's out of 125. And, the, and HGA did a real good job on the on the label, yeah. label with it. Really cool. Check it out. Yeah, awesome. He was the man in the day. <laughs> at, least I thought, at least I thought so. Yeah. But that was one of my favorites. Yeah, awesome card. Especially for for your collection. So, next uh, another sentimental basketball card for me. This uh, 
86 Barkley. I don't have the 86 Jordan, but uh, I pulled this straight out of a pack when I was a kid too. <laughs> and I think I only got like four packs of this and I've got the wrapper for all of them. Oh, I, I'm glad I, think, I didn't so. know. That's cool. Uh, and 87 also. I, got, I had a few packs of 87. That was it. But all right. Um, so I don't, I've always liked Barkley because I had that card. That Pretty is neat. cool. Yep. Okay. My next one is my 81 Bird Tops card. I, I like that. Bird's one of my favorites back in the day. And that's one of the cards of his I like the best. Yeah. That design, I just think that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, so we're on the East Coast, and the Bird and Magic, you know, uh, was going on back then. And uh, Magic was the West Coast, obviously. Yeah. And, that, that yeah, that, we were talking, this is basically our favorite Bird card. That I was in the Army much. back then, and there's a lot of people, rivalries. <laughs> yeah. West Coast guys in there, yeah. East Coast. But Cool card, yeah, for yeah. sure. I put that one up. I I've got an eighty six, an eighty seven, eighty eight of his, but that eighty one's the coolest. Yeah, yeah. And I, if if I had his rookie, I would actually. You still have that? Yeah, this is just. Well, you card. can get one of his rookies that doesn't have the what the the Doctor J and the and the and the magic on it for a pretty good price. They're not that expensive. But. Yeah, yeah. But, but, <laughs> but I still get, like that card. Yeah, right? but if yeah. you're gonna get one, you might as well get the best. Card. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> All right, next for me is this uh, Walter Payton rookie, and uh, uh, this we got. I got this for a really good deal, and it's in really good shape. It's it's great at a one, uh, but it, it, the eye appeal is awesome on it. Yeah. Uh, the only reason it's great at a one is because somebody has put either a G or a six on the back of it, and you can barely see it. Uh, it's not very noticeable. We really didn't even notice it for a while, so. Uh, but having a, a Walter Payton rookie in my collection, it's just one of those iconic cards that you always want as a kid and you can't ever get. So and and that one just looks awesome. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it's just got really good eye appeal. And the, so yeah, that's uh, I think that might be my only football card in here. <laughs> but I do like that card. Okay, my next one, one of my favorite players, and your favorite set. Yep, sixty-five, Pete Rose. Yep. I'd, awesome card. Uh, I'd started putting a uh, 65 set together trying to get all PSA 7s. and uh, You stopped that pretty I, quick because that's a big set to get yeah, all. Yeah, it's a big but set. But you're going to get all the all the big cards out yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm going to get right? all the big, the big dogs out of there. Yeah. But that's one of my... I don't have a lot of... Pete Rose is one of my favorite players, but I don't have a lot of his cards. Yeah, uh, maybe down the road. Yeah. Well, you got so many other cards you have. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, it's hard to... But, Say, but that's a cool card good yeah, color I really like that I, I like the pennant and then the logo down there the little it's really cool yeah it's just a yeah i think the reds cards are one of the best cards in that set but love that year yeah for sure that was a good year i heard why was that i, I think somebody was born that year. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> all right awesome uh my next card is a 68 hank another sentimental so yeah this one's sentimental too isn't that funny i guess I guess that's your favorite cards that some you have some kind of connection with, right? You were very good about holding on to stuff. So I I bought this. I was terrible. <laughs> uh, you sold all your stuff at card shows. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't sell mine, but I bought this, and I'm pretty sure it was at a at our local card shop when when I was probably with you. Yeah, I think. I think I got this at our local card shop downtown. Yeah, and uh, it's been in my box, my shoe box, protected since then. Had it graded and I. Uh, I even like the splash label, um, so and it's a Hank Aaron, of course. Uh, very happy to have that. I love that card. That's a cool looking card. Yeah, yeah. Of course, his '69 is basically exact same without the <laughs> burlap. <laughs> okay, my next one. We're going a little bit further back in time. Yeah, the red yeah. legs. I like that. That's awesome. Thirty-three Gowdy. And that is a man that just it's looks just a so cool looking good. card i mean it's uh fred lucas i mean not a big name player but but who's he play for that's the, that's the why you like it right yeah. <laughs> i guess it uh, should say it on the back yep reds yeah. wow 
really but nice to get, get that a, get a, a five, five in that that's yeah. pretty dang good and it's just a cool looking the car. color i mean it's awesome looking yeah that's really nice I, my, I like it one of my oldest cards i've got so. yeah it's just cool having a gowdy that looks that cool yeah. that nice yeah. snake got me on the gowdies so. yeah I, I actually made him buy this he was going to not buy it, I think. I was he debating was, it, but I'm He was glad, on the fence. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> I love that car. Yeah. It's, it's one awesome. of my favorites. Okay, next is my 63 Fleer Clemente. So, uh, I had a couple of 63 Fleers as a kid that were in poor condition. Well, they were sort of very good, I guess, condition. Uh, so, uh, when I started collecting again, I said, I'm going to get... That whole set in PSA eight, and this is one of my probably my favorite card out of this out of the whole set. I mean, you could say the Joe Adcock would be, and I could have pulled in the the checklist. Yeah, uh, but I'm about halfway through it. The Kofax is cool. The Maze, it's, I think this or the Maze is probably my favorite cards in the yeah, set. Yeah, it's awesome set. I, I wish they would have. He just been looks, able to do. Yeah. It all. Oh, I know. Just can you imagine if it had the mantle oh. and, and uh, the Hank in it? That would have been amazing. Yep. Uh, too bad tops made him stop, <laughs> but oh, this is kind of an iconic shot of Roberto Clemente. I think and that is just a, yeah. it's a really cool card. So here you go. All right, next up. Oh yeah, yeah. The '82 traded Cal Ripken rookie. No, uh, this has got to be. Uh, it's a beautiful card. And we you saw us. You you saw the whole story with this yeah, guys. With us pull it out of a traded set. Yep. And uh, a couple of those cards in there had dings on the you know rounded edges where it had been hit or something. This card right here was perfect when we pulled it out of there. Yep. And we had never we never owned this card. I've never owned it. No. No. And, it's always been too expensive. Yeah. And uh, oh, the color on that thing is great. It's just an awesome it's beautiful. Looking card. Yes. Iconic. Uh, I mean, it's definitely one of the iconic '80s cards, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's an awesome card. Love that thing. Yeah. Do you like that better than the Ricky Henderson rookie in '80? Yes, I do too. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. That one you just, you just don't see and around. It's like, just uh, the color is amazing. Like the green and the blue and the orange, and you don't. Yeah, you're right. You don't see a whole I mean, lot of them. Yeah, you just don't see them uh, just out like you go to a show or something like that. Yeah, I don't. You might, I you'll see a few of them, but, but not many. Yeah, but not like a Ricky Henderson. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, here we go next. Oh, the cool, man. awesome. Fifty-seven. Uh, I'm starting to like fifty-seven set a little bit more. I used to think they were too plain, and I didn't like them. They were just a, like. Like they were lazy. I don't know. I think we're starting to like all of them. I, I like all of the cards <laughs> from thirty, from nineteen oh nine up. Anyway, uh, of course, Warren Spawn is one of my PC guys, and this is another sentimental card because you bought this for me for my birthday. Yep. Recently, so uh, yeah, a cool card. Great smile from Spawn there, and uh, fifty seven, and in a five. That's just awesome. I yep. love it all right now we get in i think so the problem is all these cards have something to do with you on my side <laughs> <laughs> I, I sold all mine yeah back in the day oh now, here we go now you're getting serious <laughs> 55 mantle i've i've got a few mantles but this is the oldest one i got and i i love that card i do too it's just cool and if you watch our our channel you've sent you saw us pull this yeah yeah on the out the, of a set break box yeah set break box from sports card yeah it was just it was an awesome hit it's in it the the eye appeal for a three is great yeah it's such a nice card yeah he looks so young and then the stadium in the background yeah it's just cool isn't it see that guy standing back yeah, there yeah shagging flies in the outfield yeah but that that's There's, an awesome card yeah really cool and uh i mean the the registration on that thing's great it's a really good card. I, I think it should have got a three and a half. Yeah, I think it could have got a little bit better, but... Who hey, cares? You're it's not, a mantle. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Speaking of mantles... Yes. <laughs> uh, my next card is a 60 mantle. Love that. Love and, that card. And you can see creases over it, but it really doesn't affect, you know, the, the eye peel of the card too much. No. Uh, there's a little wear right there. And I got this card... 
uh, locally from a guy for not a bad price. And uh, that's the only mantles I can afford, and I love it. It's cool. 60 mantle? Yeah. It's in a tube, but... Um, I mean, that thing looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, how could you not like that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you're, uh, I mean, if you, you know, if you're investment grade, this is not going to work no. for you. If you're us, we love it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right up our alley. Yeah. So. Oh. About oh, Mr. No, Mr. Bill. Bill. Oh, no. All right. Now we're getting into my man. Oh, yeah. Well, you had to have a couple of those on oh, there, yeah. I think. 62 mares. Uh, even not being in the HGA, the cool label and everything, that is just an awesome card. Yeah. So it, it speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But they did do a good job with the stadium in the background. I, I the, think that the label makes that card even, much better than, yeah. than probably without it. Uh, that's just a cool label with the stadium. I'm sure it's Yankee Stadium, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but... Really neat. You, it's hard to see on the screen. There's pinstripes in the, you know, in the label area or the grade area. They did an awesome job on that yep. and, and with the brown border and everything, like the card. But that, I just cool love that shot card. of his follow through. Yeah. That's right? one, one of his best cards. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yep. And that's my favorite player. Of I'm with you. Yep. All right. Uh, next on mine is the '58 mantle. With the lightning bolt through it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one I picked up locally that is just in poor shape. And uh, it's it's centered pretty well. It was almost, it was about to fall apart. Uh, super happy when I got this back with the one. And I love it. Um, this does take away from the eye peel if you are wanting just a clean picture. Yeah. But then again, yeah. it makes you think, well, that's cool that somebody yeah. somebody wore that thing out. And it's in a slab. It will never be touched again. Yep. So, so uh, super happy to have it. And it's a Mickey Mantle. Cool. So I have two medals. I, I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next on my up. List. Oh, yeah. What's that? that I've never seen that card. The Michael Jordan Rookie Authentic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm still not 100% convinced it's trimmed. But. Yeah, I know. If y'all been watching... You know what the deal is with this. What we've went go through. Go back and watch the yeah the Jordan saga. So, uh, but I'm getting it graded a couple times. But happy to have it though. Yeah, just a, it's a Jordan rookie. So just glad. Never thought I'd have one. Yeah. And you saw us pull this thing. I mean, it's sharp. It's centered, and it's it's as, good. I as mean. you can tell, every time we open one of those uh, Universal Treasures boxes, when we pull down if you can see that ball oh right yeah yeah we're just looking for that right there yeah <laughs> if we what are we gonna do if you see that one time uh flip out yep have a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> all right um uh, so i've got a couple more cards yeah you got two more yep. all right so this card i love this card uh 53 tops matthews i'll probably never be able to get the 52 tops matthews of course uh that's a very expensive card since it's his rookie, and it's a, the last card of the set. But I actually like 53 better. Uh, this is one of my favorite top sets. It just, it's the the nostalgia of it, I think. It does, yeah, it's it's super nice. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it looks the part. Yeah. It looks like exactly what it is. It's no, it's no, you know, it's not playing games. This is the second year, and it's awesome. With that old logo. That, yeah, the Indian head logo is awesome. Uh, Ed Matthews, I, I'm super happy to have this uh, in a three. So cool. I love it. I love that card. All right. My last one. Of course, if you know me. Oh, this is the card for you, right? Yes. My favorite card in all my collection. That always has been, as far yeah, as I know. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, I, this is my man. This is the card. Yep. I, that I, was your chase card. I've owned a few of them. Yeah. And I wish I still had I them. I wish you still I... owned all of them. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Well, but, you probably got some money for them. Yeah. <laughs> but when Snake got me back going into collecting and getting back into it, this is one of the very first cards I, I got on eBay and picked up because I had to have me a, a Maris rookie yeah. card again. And a seven, that's and good. And a seven, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's better out there, of course, but... Shoot, that's good enough... I love that card. Sure. Awesome. Okay. Card number 47. My last card is not graded yet. Uh-oh. 
And it's the card you probably saw me pick up at the card show in Nashville. So there it is. My 50 Bowman Warren Spawn. That thing's awesome looking. It's kind of been a chase card of mine for a, for a long time. I've heard you talking about that card. Probably too much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a really good example, at least for my PC. Oh, absolutely. And I'm very excited about having that thing. So just a cool card. I love this leg kick. I love the worn spawn. I love the fence in the background. Yeah. It Old just school. looks like he's on a worn out patch in somebody's backyard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, awesome. And he's just waiting to get in a tuxedo. Yep, he'll be in a tuxedo shortly. Don't worry. So that's, uh, I don't know, we, we just thought we'd do that in the, since we couldn't uh, get out there, but we could uh, we'll have a little fun with you guys that are making all the videos from the, sh the National Card Show. Um, uh, we also tried to come up with a little bit of a list of, if we went to the card show, what, what would our plan be? What would we be looking for? So you want to go through yours? Yeah, yeah. I actually got them written down here. I got them. Um, first one, one of the big ones is... Uh, 63 Pete Rose rookie. Yeah. Um that um low grade just because it's a Pete Rose rookie. Yeah. And I'm kind of not because it's the best card in the world, right? No. The floating no, heads. I, uh, I wish he was a single, you know, yeah. it was a single card yeah. or whatever, but it's an iconic card in the industry. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, you kind of know where I've collected all the like the 68s trying to get the main guys in the 68 set, you know, Mantle, of course, Maris. I got all Maris's, but yeah. Mays, Aaron, Clemente, uh, 63 rows is going to be one of those. And then uh, uh, 63 Clemente yep. and a 63 Kofax, yeah. Yeah. which was one of the very first cards back in the day when I was that you loved. started <laughs> collecting. I picked one up. And that kind of got me on the kick, and I love that car. Yeah. And after you I gotta got rid get of all of my stuff, I've not owned one since. You got to get it, car. yeah. You got to get one. And uh, the, uh, uh, of course, the 60 Mantle. Yeah. That's on my list to pick one. I love that card. Yeah. Uh, kind of jealous you got that one. I, uh, no. Well, <laughs> we can work something we'll out. work something out. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll trade you that for your 63. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the main one is a 54 Bowman mantle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When we were down there at Nashville, I was eyeballing one, and I was just debating about it. But It was guy, close. It was close. But he, I think he had just too much on it. Yeah. That's where I started looking them up and everything. But yeah. it was a nice-looking mantle. Yeah. But can't get any further back on that. It's going to be a little bit too expensive. Yeah. I mean, if you get like a 53 Tops or a 52 Bowman... You're talking lots of money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still a lot of money for fifty four, but it, it's a uh, for the. So, it's a beautiful card. Yeah, it's a great smile he's got. Uh, the colors look good on it. It's really cool, and I'm, I'm wanting to get an older mantle. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I've got the fifty five, but that's not old enough. No, no, I love the fifty five. I love that's the fifty five, but that that fifty four is pretty cool old. Looking. But yeah, yeah, the fifty four is awesome. But that's pretty much about what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'll go through my maybe five cards that i'd be looking for uh first a 33 gowdy rabbit marinville so he's a hall of famer that played for the braves and it's a it's probably the i think it's the most expensive gowdy braves card from 33 never, you're probably not familiar really, with it no. yeah yeah so uh I, i've looked a couple times and uh i just love to find one of those uh I, I want to find one and show you. It's cool. Yeah, yeah you got cool to show me that card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's probably uh, on my list there. Uh, 57 uh, Hank Aaron. It's on my list. You know why? You have one. Yeah. Why? You, any idea why I would like? Why that would be cool for me? Uh, no. It's the reverse negative. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. So he's batting left. -handed. I was getting ready to say that. Yeah. I was like, eh. So I'm left-handed, and uh, and of course the the Dale Murphy reverse negative is a cool chase card uh but i would love and it's uncorrected but i still i'd like to i'd like to get one of those that's pretty cool and it's one of his better cards i think yeah i mean he doesn't some of his cards are not very good no uh as, and then uh another one uh aaron card though is a 55 bowman uh 
Aaron, and I like that card. Yeah. You have that too. Uh, I don't, don't have the Aaron. You know? I've got the Maze. Oh, that's right. It was the Maze. The Hank is cool. Um, I love it. He's got his hands on his knees and he's kind of looking up. Yeah. It's a pretty cool card. So that that would be uh, on my list if 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 I had to pick some to go for. Uh, I like you like that. So card? far, I like them all. Yeah. Except that first one, I don't have a clue what it looks like. Yeah, it's it's just a Gowdy. You know? Yeah, it's cool. Uh, next would be a '53 Bowman Color Matthews. So uh, the '53 is just you know just like kind of like the '57, yeah. the '53 Bowman where there's just a picture of them. Yeah. And I think uh, that'd probably be the next Matthews card I would like to pick up. So I had to put that on there. <laughs> and then um, uh, that was a 53 Bowman. And then I would love to have a 53 Tops of Warren Spawn. So that that's, uh, that's a pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the cards that I would try to go for. What would be your Holy Grail card? Like if, if I could get any card? Yeah. Uh, I know what it is. No, well. You don't think, I mean. Do you have something other than. Well, so then, you think so a Hank Aaron rookie would be that's what I figured something would be almost affordable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, I'd like to have a you know a Mickey Mantle fifty one Bowman or something. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a fifty two Mantle, you know, or something like that. But, but yeah, um, I, it would probably be the the fifty four Hank. Yeah, for sure. How about you? Oh, uh, I put you on the spot and you put me back. Yeah. On. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Do you have any? So you've got your like your favorite player favorite card. I it, well, I mean you're getting into crazy you're get, money. You're getting into yeah cards that we can't it afford. Be, so. Yeah, it, it would have to be like a fifty-two or, or 50, fifty-three mantle tops. Yeah, yeah. Do you like the fifty-two or the fifty-three? Uh, I I like the fifty-three better. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I had to choose, I'd just get the 52, probably and sell it and get a couple 53s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That That's pretty much it, though, right? Yep. Uh, so we just want to put this together, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. And let, um, maybe we'll try and do these every so often, and we'll be, hopefully, these will be kind of changing out every few months, maybe, if we yeah. pick some cards up and find some good shows. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, let us know if you enjoyed this or not, and uh, we enjoyed making it for sure. And uh, make sure uh, you guys stay tuned to the channel. We got some uh, cool stuff coming up. So anything else? Or we'll make a the video of some of our favorite players, some of the good cards we got of them. Yeah. Or a little mixture of them. Yeah. Of just our favorite We'd like to ones. do some videos like this and bring in some special guests, maybe some members of our channel, uh, and let us know what you think about that idea. So yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for us. And if you're enjoying our channel, please subscribe. Till next time, I'm Snake. Rusty Nuts. See y'all. Later.